in order to lose weight, you have to address food, body, and mind. First, the mindset. You must do two things. One, realize that it is not hard. Weight loss is only as hard as you tell yourself it's going to be. So if you keep telling yourself, weight loss is hard, I can't do this, this is so freaking difficult, guess what? It will be. <laughs> the minute you start telling yourself, this is not too bad, this really isn't as hard as I thought it was going to be. When you shift your mindset to believing that it's just a change of pace, it is not a radical overhaul of who you are, you will find it so much easier to approach and succeed at. Second, for mindset, you have to forgive yourself. I talked about this in my other video, How to Lose Weight, How to Succeed Losing Weight. That video was all about how you have to forgive yourself for getting this heavy. Because as long as you beat up yourself for having gained the weight in the first place, you will never be able to accept that you can change. It's, it's you know, moving on from the past. You have to take some time and give yourself some credit for having come to a place where you now want to change. It's okay that you gain the weight. It is okay. You are not a bad person. You made bad choices. You didn't even necessarily make bad choices. You made maybe unwise decisions. But you are a good person and you want to take care of yourself and that's why you're watching this video and that's why you're trying to lose weight. And when you can separate the two and recognize I made bad choices but I am a good person and now I'm gonna move forward then you have the right attitude because it's no longer about blame and it's no longer about shame and it's no longer about guilt. It is about progress and goals and future. That's the mindset and that is the most important. Second you need to fix your food. And third, you need to fix your body. You need to start gaining strength. You need to start improving your cardiovascular health. You need to start taking care of yourself. And we all know about those two aspects. The food, you need to eat <laughs> better choices, and you need to eat lower calories. And with the exercise, you need to start moving regularly. <laughs> I say you gotta fix your mindset. This could take a very long time. It doesn't have to happen overnight, and those who strive for immediate success will fail. You cannot strive, it's the tortoise and the hare, man. You cannot strive for immediate success because you will not get there, and then you will be disappointed and probably fall away from your original goal. Why did you choose to lose weight? Is it so you can be skinny tomorrow? I mean, that would be great, but that's not going to happen. You chose to lose weight because you want to be thin someday and you want to be healthy for the rest of your life, however long it may be. So there's no reason to try and get to goal now, now, now. We're so immediate in this culture, and you will be required, as, as a part of circumstance, you will be required to learn patience. It is not those with the most discipline. It is not those with the most athletic ability in their past that lose the most weight. It is those who stay the course. It is those with the most persistence. It is those that never go away and always come back when they fall down that lose the weight. I am nowhere near perfect, not even close. Not even close. I have counted my calories incorrectly. I have done my exercises improperly, I have binged, I have not eaten almost at all certain days, I have gone through this process for a year now completely imperfect and blemished with all the stains of my wrongdoing, and yet, here I am 45 pounds lighter, because I stayed with it. So you must go ahead with small changes over a long period of time, the tortoise, and you will win. You will get there. I have 100% faith that if you do what I say, which is make small changes that you can live with over a long period of time, and you do not quit, you will succeed at weight loss. There's absolutely no way that you can fail.
So then that begs the question, how do I start exercising? How do I start eating right? And like I say always, baby steps are the only way to walking. The only way to greatness is to start very small. So how do I eat right? Make one change that seems laughably easy. I've said this in videos before, but it's always worth reiterating. Make one change you can do. If you drink soda five times a day, cut it down to one soda a day and drink water the other four times. Or cut out one soda, if that's all you can cut out to begin with. After you've made that change, then find something else to do. Commit to it. Commit to it entirely, which is why it has to be something so easy you could totally do it. Because you have to commit 100% and look back at your week once it's done and go, I just did that exactly how I wanted to, and that was perfect. And when that gets so easy, you're like, whatever, I don't even need soda anymore, I almost never drink it. Then you find something harder to do. Like, okay, now with every dinner, I'm going to try and eat a little bit of smaller portions and have a salad. And that's your new goal. And you continue with that, which you've already changed, and you make a new goal. And you just roll on top, on top, on top. Where does a massive snowball start? As a little snowball. And in truth, that little snowball started as a snowflake. Start somewhere. Start somewhere. Start small. What is your snowflake? <laughs> I sound so crazy. But what is your snowflake? What is the one thing that you're going to do that when you accumulate enough of these small things, you've got a snowball, which then can start to roll downhill and become your entire weight loss plan. The same goes for exercise. People always ask me, how can I start exercising? I got three questions today involving, I tried to go running today, but I was totally exhausted. I got another one saying, I tried to work out DVD, but within the first like minute, I was just dying. How can I get into an exercise routine? You gotta start small. Walk. Go for a walk. If you walk at 3.5 on the treadmill, or if you run at 3.5 on the treadmill, you get the same calories burnt in the little display window. So walk and make it a small snowflake plan to walk. Say twice this week I'm gonna go for a walk. Just twice. Pick one thing, don't do all these at once, pick one snowflake and do it for a week. I mean that's where you start. Write down your goals, write them down. A goal without a plan is just a wish. You need to make the goal, write it down, and commit to it. So get a little notebook. You don't have to buy anything. You could staple some paper together, but you write down what you're going to do that week. And you do it. And at the end of the week, look back at what you did. If you didn't do it, try to do it again the next week. If you did do it, then you go rock on. Now what am I going to do? And the success stories themselves speak for themselves. I wish everyone could make videos because the messages that I get, which I would feel very arrogant just reading aloud, but the messages which I get bring me to tears. I don't even know how to respond to them. I watched your video a month ago and I started just by doing push-ups and crunches in my house and I switched out a couple sodas a day and that totally just spiraled out of control and now I'm like this health freak. I mean, <laughs> these are the sort of messages that I get. It does happen, but it happens so slowly the change is almost unnoticeable. So that's the only advice I can give you. I hope you took something away from that. Find some baby steps you can take today with regards to your mind, your body, and your food. Start so small, it is funny when you think about it. Because you think, well, any full-grown adult can do this. That must be your attitude toward what you are aiming to change this week. Because if you think any full-grown adult can do this, this isn't even hard, then you know you're making a change which will be permanent because you can do it. And every week or every month, you make another change that you know will be permanent. And you continue to evolve until you are doing everything you possibly can to lose weight. Thank you so much for subscribing. I can't even tell you how much joy you have brought to my life. Having 2,000 subscribers blows my mind. Here's to another two. I will see you Thursday for weigh-in and tomorrow for a grocery haul.